Welcome to the Mathematics class students. Let us discuss the topic Vectors Session 2. And the aim of this session is to define the addition of vectors and the formula related with the addition of a vector is a triangle law of addition and parallel gram law of addition. And also we define the properties of vector addition and multiplication of a scalar to a vector and its properties. And finally, we find how the difference of two vectors is taken that is vector subtraction and the related properties. These are the topics that we are going to touch in this session. First of all, let us define what do you mean by the addition of vectors. As we, we have seen previously that vectors are determined by means of a director line segment in this way. This is what is called the initial point and this is what is called the terminal point. Initial point and terminal point of vector. Now, if you have another vector in this way and whose initial point is this and terminal point is this and how do we find the addition of these two vectors? The terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the initial point of the second vector. Then only we can find out the addition of two vectors. To find addition of two vectors, we shall find out these two things. The terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the initial point of the second vector. That is, if AB is a vector, AB bar is a vector and this vector must be like BC bar, like terminal point of first one should coincide with the initial point of second. Then you will find the resultant vector from A to C whose magnitude is taken if it is A bar and if it is B bar that is A bar plus B bar. So therefore this is how we define the addition of two vectors. The condition for the addition of two vectors is the terminal point of the first vector must coincide with the initial point of the second vector. Then only the resultant vector is possible and resultant vector contains the initial point as the initial point of first vector and the as the terminal point of the second vector. This is the definition of vector addition. And in Cartesian also, if vectors are expressed in terms of Cartesian like A bar is given in terms of A1, A2, A3 triad and B bar is given in terms of B1, B2, B3 triad, then the addition of vectors is defined as the sum of the corresponding sum of the components. So we will find out the sum of the corresponding components like A1 plus B1, A2 plus B2 and A3 plus B3. This is how we will find the addition of vectors. Addition of vector is purely based on the two formulae. That is number one is triangle law of addition. What do you mean by the triangle law of addition? The definition. The definition of triangle law of addition is in any triangle if two adjacent sides are represented by two vectors then the third vector represents the sum or the resultant vector of two vectors if its direction is reversed. Suppose there is a triangle in this way A, B, C. A, B bar is represented vector A bar and B, C bar is represented by B bar. Then A, C bar will represent its resultant. That is the meaning of third side represent the resultant or the sum vector when its direction is reversed. Instead of C, A bar, we will take E bar. Let us Observe this by means of the animation given here. A, B, C. A, B bar is a vector given by A bar. B, C bar is a vector given by B bar. And A, C bar will be its resultant. If A, B, C is taken as a triangle and this is A bar is representing, B bar is representing any two adjacent sides. Then the third side A, C bar whose direction is changed from C, A bar to A, C bar represent the resultant of them. This is what is triangular law of addition. Here also it is essential to find the sum of vectors with the condition of initial point of second vector coinciding the terminal point of first vector. Then only the sum vector is possible. And sum vector contains the initial point as the initial point of first vector and the terminal point as terminal point of the second vector. 
This is what is triangular law of addition. Secondly, we go for the parallelogram law of addition, which is a second formula to explain the addition of vectors. The definition of parallelogram law of addition is in a parallelogram, if any two adjacent sides are represented by two vectors a bar comma b bar, then the corresponding diagonal gives the resultant vector or the sum vector or the sum vector of a bar comma b bar as a bar plus b bar. This is what is the parallelogram law of addition. If you observe the rough sketch related to this, it is a, b, c, d is a parallelogram in which any two adjacent sides a, b bar and b, c bar are given by two vectors. Then the corresponding diagonal will give the resultant vector of those two a, b bar plus a bar plus b bar. If at all in the same parallelogram a, b, c, d, b, a bar is given as a bar and a, d bar given as b bar, then b, d bar would be their resultant a bar plus b bar. For better understanding, observe the animation related to this concept that is a, b, c, d a is a parallelogram in which we have this a b is represented by vector a bar b c bar represented by vector b bar then the corresponding diagonal will give the resultant a bar plus b bar so this is the illustration of this addition of vectors using the parallel gram law of addition so the corresponding diagonal is a c bar for a b bar and b c bar and corresponding diagonal for b a bar and a d bar is b d bar after this let us see the addition of vector in the component form. If at all vector a bar is given as a triad a1, a2, a3, which means in the component form a1i plus a2j plus a3k, in due course we will discuss about ijk, and b bar is b1, b2, b3, where it is b1i plus b2j plus b3k, then a bar plus b bar can be given as a1, a2, a3 plus b1, b2, b3. Then this is equal to a1i plus a2j plus a3 plus b1i plus b2j plus b3k. Therefore, it is a1 plus b1 times of i, a2 plus b2 times of j and a3 plus b3 times of k. This is the resultant vector of a bar and b bar. And here magnitude of a bar and b bar is given as such root over a1 plus b1 square plus a2 plus b2 square plus a3 plus b3 square. This is what is the magnitude of vector a bar plus b bar. And when in component form addition of vectors is this. And difference of vectors are so is taken accordingly. It is minus, it is minus, it is minus. Hence it becomes a1 minus b1 into i plus a2 minus b2 into j plus a3 minus b3 into k. This is difference of vectors. It is sum of vectors when vectors are given in component form. Next, let us go to the properties of vector addition. First of all, the binary operation that is closure property. If a bar is a vector a1i plus a2j plus a3k in Cartesian form and b bar is another vector b1i plus b2j plus b3k in Cartesian form. Therefore, a bar plus b bar is equals to, just now we have seen that a1 plus b1i plus a2 plus b2j plus a3 plus b3k. Now, let us take a1 plus b1 here where a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3. These are nothing but, these are nothing but real numbers. When they are real numbers, a1 plus b1, real numbers are closed under addition. So, let me take it as capital A and a2 plus b2 will take it as capital B and a3 plus b3 will take it as capital C. Therefore, a bar plus b bar will get as ai plus bj plus ck, which is a vector. Hence, Sum of two vectors is also a vector employs. We can conclude that if a bar, a comma, b bar are two vectors which are satisfying the condition of a terminal point of a first vector should be the initial point of second, then a bar plus b bar is also a vector. Hence, we can say vector addition is closed. Vector addition is closed or we can simply say that binary operations satisfied by the set of vectors under the addition. So, vector addition is closed. That's what we can say the A1 is satisfied. This is satisfied because of the real numbers are closed under the addition when sum of two real numbers is a real number. So, this is because here real numbers 
set is closed under addition. That's why this is possible. So vector satisfies the closure property or it undergoes the binary operation with respect to the vector addition. Next associative property. What is meant by associative property? Some combination of the things in any order more three or more number of combination of things in any order yields the same number of things. Let a bar b bar c bar are three vectors then if you add a bar and b bar and if to that if you add c bar if you add a bar to sum of b bar plus c bar then it is the same because of sum of a two vectors is a vector and if joined to this it is also a vector which can be equal to this one so if you can prove by taking the component a1 a2 a3 and b bar is say b1 b2 b3 and c bar is c1 c2 c3 employs a bar plus b bar plus c bar becomes a bar plus b bar is a1 plus b1 and this is a2 plus b2 and a3 plus b3 plus here c1 c2 c3 finally this is equal to a1 plus b1 plus c1 and a2 plus b2 plus c2 and a3 plus b3 plus c3 this is what is the sum vector a bar plus b bar plus c bar similarly if you take a bar plus b bar plus c bar then this is equals to a1 a2 a3 plus b1 plus c1 b2 plus c2 b3 plus c3 which is equal to a1 plus b1 plus c1 a2 plus b2 plus c2 a3 plus b3 plus c3 see observe that a bar plus b bar plus c bar and a bar plus b bar plus c bar yields the same quantity thus we can say the a bar plus b bar plus c bar is equals to a bar plus b bar plus c bar that is vector addition is associated vector addition is associated next let us go to the identity property let us take a vector a bar in the cartesian form a1 a2 a3 and let us take zero bar null vector in cartesian form 0 0 0 such that a bar plus zero bar is zero bar plus a bar is equals to a bar in fact identity stands according to the operation that is here this we are defining additive identity additive identity is if a bar equals to this b0 bar equal to this a bar plus 0 bar equal to 0 bar plus a bar is a bar that is you are going to get a1 a2 a3 only whenever a quantity and adding to this one produce the same quantity we call that quantity as additive identity so here the null vector is the additive identity null vector or zero vector is said to be the additive identity of vector addition the additive identity of the vector addition hence vector addition exists with identity element we can say that vector addition satisfies satisfies identity property so this is what about the additive property the additive element of vector set is zero vector or null vector which can be joined to any vector which is non-zero it's the same vector where a1 a2 are different from zeros